All right, welcome to the first edition of Internet Business Show in 2022. I'm sure you guys have missed me on this show. And today, we will be discussing something very, very important. I'm sure you've been hearing all your NFTs, crypto, board A, porn, $1 million, $10 million. Okay, Don Jazzy has been doing his own. And the other guy too was asking, now nah, don't bring NFT, I never finished learning crypto. And all those kind of talks and all those kind of talks. Well, today's edition is going to be classic. And I have here with me somebody amazing. He's been an enthusiast and a player in the crypto industry for over four years. Welcome to the show, Wisdom Azubike. Wisdom, how are you doing? Thank you, Russ. I'm so fine. good to see Wisdom today. Wisdom is one of those guys that used to oppress me on Twitter <laughs> and on Facebook <laughs> and, on, and, on, and on Twitter and on Instagram. He oppresses me with his gym, <laughs> oppresses me with his NFT collection. And today I said that today I'm going to kidnap him here mm -hmm. so that we can start eating that crypto money he has been eating. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, Wisdom. Thank you very so much. So let us meet Wisdom. Who is, who is Wisdom Azubike? Um... I'm just a cryptocurrency enthusiast, someone that got into crypto in 2017, okay. and then um, it has been uphill from here, from 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 there. Um, I went, I graduated from Uniben in 2018, and oh, obviously, um, I knew I wasn't going to use my certificate. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Interesting. So then I got into crypto, and then I started. Uh, this is what I want to. Interesting. So you've been playing the cryptocurrency niche for four years plus. Yeah. Four years plus, yeah. Interesting. And as a student, um, how did you enter? What made you, how did you get it? Because me, I knew that somebody was talking about crypto somewhere in Calabar. And the next thing is, I said, no, I'm going to research this Bitcoin. Case. So how did you get into crypto? I heard about crypto for the first time in 2016 on Facebook, actually. Okay. There was this group then, or well, crypto, well, then we just started only Bitcoin, yeah, then. So I, the reason why I actually got into crypto because I saw the price was going up. <laughs> I so, like that. So that was like the only reason why I got into crypto. I saw the price going up. So I was like thinking, okay, if, if I put like some of my um, school fees or some of the money that they gave me, <laughs> yeah, so the price will likely go up. So, Bad guy. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's been happening for a while. Twenty sixteen, then twenty seventeen, I was like, no, no, nah, I'm going to do this. So I just, I just got some on, blo on blockchain. Interesting. And you started like that. Yes. Good. So you have a Telegram community. It's popularly known as Wisdomatic, and you have a Telegram community of crypto enthusiasts. Tell us how your community works. Um, the name of the community is um, just Crypto Coach, and then uh, we have a Discord channel as well, which okay. is Crypto Coach Community. Uh, we are about like fourteen thousand members now. Interesting. And um, the community we are like, I educate um, people, newbies, um, people that are already in the game already. Tell them what's going on in the market, mm. the current trends mm -hmm. to keep up with. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I will also show them my plays as well, what I'm doing. Interesting. I sometimes I even go to his. Um, I think he was the first guy who made me got so much interested in a coin called Lux. It's a, it's a long term coin. Uh, and even today, was he kept on advising me, Chris, you need to stay close, you need to stay close so you can earn Ethereum and, and earn more Lux from the community, uh, from the platform. So. Um, so Wisdom, share with us, how has learning about crypto changed your life? And tell us the turning point. And you've been, you've been in crypto for four years. How has crypto changed your life? You know, the funny thing is that I've been in crypto since 2017. And my breakthrough or turning point came just last year, 2021. Interesting. Yeah, because um, I've played in crypto on and off. I saw the 2017 move, 18, 19, but... And personally, I'm someone that doesn't take that much risk because um, I don't have no backup. Hmm. I don't have any business. I don't have anybody that's giving money. Hmm. I'm on my own. So You're 100% in crypto. I don't have anything. 100% in crypto. So I like that. I've always been the one fending for myself. So if I was thinking like, what if I go all in, if I risk it and then I lose everything, hmm. I would like go, I would go back to square one. Hmm. So I was like, no, nah, I won't take that much risk. But last year, I said I'm going to take more risk. And then I put out a tweet about BNB, I said, um, the current price of BNB right now is $40, right? You should buy at least 10 to 100 and thank me later. Personally, mm. I did that too. Mm. And then it's crazy because that was one of the lowest points of my life. I was, I was in a hospital bed then, wow. so I made that tweet. And then I went all in on BNB, and then BNB went to like 600. 
Let's do the mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Widomatic, so let's do the mathematics. <laughs> 400. Let's put 100 BMB yeah. times $40. Yeah. That'll give you 40. That will give you four thousand four thousand dollars to yeah, buy that. $4, then even just ten BNB is forty times ten. That's four hundred dollars. And BNB went as high as six hundred dollars. That's more than ten x. Fifteen. Fifteen x. So for every one thousand dollar invested in BNB, you have fifteen thousand dollars. For every four thousand, you have sixty thousand dollars. Let's go on this short break. <laughs> and we'll be right back because uh, you guys, I, I don't want you to see when he's sharing the giveaway to me. He's going to do giveaway to me. My wallet address is here. We'll be right back. Let's go on this quick short break. Skip this ad just as you skip buying Bitcoin at $4,000 and Ethereum at $100 in 2020. And now Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a new all-time high in price. Don't you want to learn how to make money by trading and investing in cryptocurrencies in 2021? And beyond. In 2020, during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, I wrote an article advising people and pushing them to buy Bitcoin, stablecoin, and other cryptocurrency. I'm sure those who took my advice are richer down. 2021 is another year that opens opportunities for you to make money from the crypto market. There are two sets of people watching this video right now. The first one are those who are going to ignore this offer, make mistakes, make excuses and move on. The second one are those who are going to take this offer, join my students who are making millions from the cryptocurrency market. My name is Chris Annie, Africa's number one crypto influencer, teacher and founder Daba.school. Welcome to my online course. In this trade and make money course, you learn how to buy, how to sell, coins to profit from, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, how to spot a coin that will make you money, how to also avoid losses in the cryptocurrency market, and a lot more. Not just that, when you get this course, you will also be added to my private premium signal room where you will see the coins to buy and the coins to profit from. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get this course or go to www.daba.school and get the trade that make money course. You can also download the Daba app and get the course on your Daba app. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there. Welcome back to Internet Business Show. I'm right here with my favorite guy, Wisdomatic, also known as Crypto Coach. You can check him out on Twitter. And this guy's been doing amazing stuff in the cryptocurrency industry. Wisdom, I picked certain lessons from what you've been sharing. You had nobody fending for you. You are the one who raised yourself and all that. And you're 100% in crypto. Not like you have one side job again. Crypto is not a side hustle for him. It's a full-time job. And you went all in. The lesson I'm taking here is simple. You took the risk at that time. Yes. And you went all in. Yes. And the risk paid out. Yes. So you were not just trying to do, let me test BNB with one naira. No. Let me test BNB with one dollar. You went all in. Yeah. And today you're smiling. Yeah. Or has BNB rock pulled you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know, when people say some stuff like um, holding a coin long term, is one thing holding something long term and then actually having conviction, conviction in what you're holding because then I saw BNB rolling out Binance Smart Chain. Mm. I saw how volume is flipping Ethereum chain. Mm. I was like, this, this thing is going to blow. You the fundamentals so were I, clear. I, I, I was convinced, like totally. And then when BM, CZ followed me, I was like, nah. Whoa! <laughs> CZ <laughs> has to hear this. <laughs> You know, when CZ follows us in, uh, in the crypto space, it's a big, big, yeah, you're like, course. man. Because somebody can go on your profile and say CZ, yeah, followed by CZ exactly. and co. Wow, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. So everyone who is watching, you should know that there is no risk, no return, no reward. Okay? So take the risk and have the reward. Okay, so um, let's, let's, deep, let's dive deep. For months now, I've been seeing you play the game of NFT, flipping this, flipping that. And you have deep knowledge about NFTs. So tell us more about what is what are NFTs? What is what is this NFT craze? Monkey, so on, profile picture, 
they be dancing, and people are saying next one million. I don't even know if you sold your own for one point something million. <laughs> this is why people are tired. I don't want this guy to go and sell mm. one million to one million. Just know that I already know his house address. <laughs> and I'm coming to carry you along. <laughs> but tell us wisdom. What's this thing with NFTs? Um, NFTs is basically the uh, non-fungible tokens. Okay. Which means you can't exchange it for another. You know, like for example, if you have one BTC, I have one BTC, we can exchange it. Yes. You understand? It's the same thing. Yes. But NFTs, they are unique. Um, you can't exchange it for the other. I and cannot use Christiani NFT to buy your own NFT. No. They are just collections they are on their own. Like that. On their own and they are unique like mm. that. Even a particular collection, you know, there are different types of collections. A collection can be like 5,000. Mm. The 5,000 NFTs in that collection, they can't be the same. They mm. are all 5,000. They are unique. unique. Exactly. So they are unique. Interesting. So uh, if, if, if I get you well, uh, what are the classifications of these old NFTs? The people keep saying they have different types of NFTs. Mm. Some people see profile picture and think, okay, I can find say some of these profile picture and put and say I have an NFT. Mm. What are the kind of NFTs that we currently have in the crypto market and industry? All right, um, we have like profile pictures where people you, people are already seeing like um, the best way I can put it is like it looks like a cartoon sort of mm. understand. So most people are using. It. I think Don Jazzy has one. Yes, he has Dudu yes. Um, NFT as is me. I personally have one on my profile, Dead Fellas. So we have profile pictures NFTs. Um, we have generative arts like paintings, mm. and then um, people can create like. Their music, mm. a video, you can upload a video as an NFT, you mm. understand? You can play this comedy skit as an NFT, but maybe it's a style of the trend. Mm. I remember the time Just Too Funny did his um, Don't Leave Me stuff. Mm. Don't Leave yeah. Me, though. It, it went global at that time, so mm. he uploaded it as an NFT. Mm. So even um, musicians right now, they are trying to look for it, they are trying to sell their albums mm. as an NFT as well, their concerts as an NFT. So mm. the, anything at all can sell as an NFT. Interesting. If I want to get into NFT, wisdom, forget my name is Kusani and I know crypto. How do I get into this NFT? How do I get started? Um, first of all, if you want to get started into NFT, um, education is important. Mm. You need to know what you're getting into. This, this is not like crypto that the market is going down. What's the guy said? Sharp charge. <laughs> you understand? No stop loss. No stop loss. <laughs> so if someone doesn't buy from you, he's, he's there. He's going to be with you forever. Mm. Like the market where there is. Um, standby liquidity for that. So, um, if someone that's going to go and wants to get into NFTs, first of all, you get your education. So, once you are done with the education, you know what NFTs are and what you want to play, mm. what your play is. And then um, you have you need to have a MetaMask wallet. Very important. MetaMask wallet. Yes, MetaMask wallet. And then you decide which chain do you want to play on. Do you want to play on Solana, Solana chain? Do you mm. want to play on Ethereum chain? Mm. Uh, do you want to play on BSC? Mm. Right now, most people are playing on Ethereum chain because mm. that's where the money is. Mm. Because the number one NFT is in terms of PFP is on Ethereum. That's how they judge PFP is profile pictures. pictures. Yes. Okay. Profile pictures, they are a class of NFTs. Yeah. Okay. So they are on Ethereum. So let's say I want to be using Ethereum, right? So because that's where the money is. Mm. So if you're playing on Ethereum, you need a MetaMask wallet and uh, you need a marketplace. Mm. NFT marketplace is where you buy and sell NFT easily. So you need a MetaMask wallet, then we need uh, a, ma a marketplace yes. where we can buy and where, where we can sell. So, yeah. So there are different types of marketplaces, NFT marketplaces on Ethereum. There is um, OpenSea, mm. which everybody knows about. There is an NFT space. There is LuxRare. There is um, Rarible as well. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is you have to... Um, fund your MetaMask wallet maybe from your centralized exchange because MetaMask is a decentralized wallet. Oh, yes. So you fund your wallet and then you connect to the marketplace, anyone you, anyone you prefer, OpenSea, mm -hmm. LuxRare or anyone. Mm -hmm. So once you connect your wallet, um, personally I tell people, make sure you know what you're buying before you go to the marketplace mm -hmm. because there are a lot of varieties there mm -hmm. and then you might end up making a hard decision. It's like someone that's going to the market, right? And then uh, it doesn't have anything in mind to buy. Mm. You probably pick something that when you get home, you'll be like, uh, I shouldn't have gotten this thing. Mm. So you have something you have something in mind that you want to buy. Mm. And then once you go there, you find your wallet, you connect your wallet to, very simple, mm. to the NFT marketplace, okay. and then you buy. Interesting. So you now know what to buy. Now, uh, when you want to start going deep into the kind of NFTs to buy, uh, you need a full education on that, you need to get access to communities and 
one of the things I'm also planning for people is that there's going to be an NFT course that will launch that will show you how to do a lot of flippings. Flip this, buy that, um, get into the market. And you also so understand the risk uh, involved too. Uh, like Wisdom said earlier on, it's not one way. If hunger they catch you, never go buy NFT. <laughs> if hunger they catch you, not talk say, I'll go and buy a 0.1 Ethereum NFT and I'm waiting for it to pump. <laughs> you may not even see a pump for one month. You may not even see who to buy for the next three, four days. Okay, you can meet an NFT and a 0.1, and maybe in the next three months, you know, you can sell it for two or one Ethereum or so. But wisdom, tell us, tell us um, some of the things you've gained doing this NFT thing because you shared with me some of the things you flipped. How do you make money with NFTs? Um, one way I make money from NFTs is first of all getting access to the community because you need to gain access to the community to be able to. Where's their community? Is it Twitter? You know, show these in your Twitter. <laughs> the, their community. Is it in Discord? Is it in Telegram? Their community is on Twitter, Discord. Those are the two places. Okay. But the main community is on Discord. That's where you have access to chats. You can talk to the team, talk to the uh, moderators to get every information that you What you're need. saying now is when I want to get started doing the NFT world, I must know how to use this code. Yes. Very important. Yes, a Twitter. Young person listening to me, it's not just WhatsApp, it's not just Facebook. There's a platform called Discord. But we're using the internet business show to actually show you how to make money on the internet. Okay? So if you don't have Discord, go and download Discord now. Okay? If you don't even know how to use Discord, go on YouTube. Click how to use Discord. And it can be a 10 minute or 5 minutes video. You learn how to use it, just like your WhatsApp and all that. Okay? Though there are other more complicated things there, but learn how to use it because you need it when you want to go into this your NFT journey. Continue wisdom. So yeah, the community is on Discord, right? And then on Twitter is where they roll out updates every day. They can go on Twitter space and mm. talk about the project and have people interested, ask them questions, mm. make sure that everything checks out. Mm. You understand? So yeah, so once I do that, I wait for the day for the NFT to launch. Okay. On the launch day, we call it Mint Day. Mm. You will have to mint your NFT um, on their website. So when an NFT is launching, when it needs to come to life, yeah. it's called minting. Yes, it's minting. Okay. What's the so, process of minting? Um, minting is like you go to their website, right? Um, let's say, an example, a, a collection of NFTs, 10,000 NFT, 10,000. So you connect there your... There will only be 10,000 of that collection. Yes, yes, yes. So you connect your wallet to the website and then you see the price. So you make sure that you have enough plus gas fee. Because mm. there's something called gas fee. It's fee you pay for them to process your transaction on the Ethereum chain. You understand? So gas fee is like well. Yeah, exactly. If I'm going to move from Oshodi to um, Leki, I have to fill my tank sure. with well. Okay, yeah. so if you're going to get a transaction, okay, you stop at the filling station, they'll take that trans that movement from Oshodi to Leki needs well. So that transaction you want to use to get those NFTs, okay? They will collect the gas. And that gas is on Ethereum. Yes, on Ethereum. Okay, so you will need to have a fuel called Ethereum. They will remove from it, and that's your gas fee. Yeah. Good, let's go. So once you, you, you have the enough money, let's say the collection is, the price to meet one is 0 0.05, for example, because there's one I'm, I'm going to meet today okay. once I get home. So it's 0 0.05. So let's say sometimes there's a limit. Mm. Like I say you can only meet one. For hmm. that wallet, or because minutes. of scarcity, yes. So we said you can mean three. So let's say you're minting three, so that means 0 0.5 times three, mm. that's 0 0.15. Um, so, yes, 0 0.15, yes, yeah, 0 0.15 plus, Ethereum, yeah, plus your gas, gas fee. fee. So, yeah, so once you mean, so obviously, I, I, I already have um, huge hopes for that particular project. Mm. So, once it means, I will track the floor price, so something called floor price in, in NFTs. Floor price means the current price. For that NFT, like the cheapest one, let's say the cheapest one, because they are they vary, they varies. If um, one looks finer or more rare, with more rare, means that maybe someone one has like devil eyes mm. or it has like a monster, yeah, ha halo on the mm. head. So, but I can say like this one is rare. Maybe the normal ones can be like basic looks and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's say the the basic one, that way you see the floor price. You can say floor price for that one is maybe after you mint, you can see the, the market has gone from 0 0.05 mm. to 1. 0 0.1. 0 0 0 0 0 that's, so that's the floor price. Yes, floor price. That's the minimum you can um, get yeah. on that collection. Yes, yes. Let's use an example now. Chris Annie means 10,000 Chris Annie friends NFT. Okay. Yeah. 
and there's a different one that has blue eye. Yeah. Then there's a Christianity that has red eye. Yes. There's one that has on. Yeah. So yeah. different of them. Yes. And the minting for the let's say you're minting one. Yeah. Okay. So it means we're going to get to ten thousand. Yeah. And the, the the you use like let's use zero point zero five like you said to mint one Christianity's NFT. Yeah. So the cheapest of them, which is like the basic one you said. Yeah. Okay, because the other ones that have different um, characteristics, they are called rare. Yeah, they, okay, are, they go for the, higher price. They go for higher price. So the minimum, they could be one selling for one Ethereum, they yes. one selling for 0 0.5, yes. but the minimum is now selling for 0 0.1. Yeah, yeah. So that's, if the last, if the cheapest is selling for, so we can now say floor price is the cheapest. Yeah, floor price is the cheapest. The cheapest price you can get for that, for that collection. collection. Good. So you now check the one that you have. If it's, if it's not rare, you can just flip it, flip it to... 0 0.1 and then you make 100 percent profit mm. it's like that mm. but but, but is that is it, it sounds so easy mm -hmm. you understand but there are also downsides to it you understand because um, it's not everything that you meet or you buy that's going to work so, out work out so well i personally i have one generative art collection that i bought for ten thousand dollars right now i can't even sell it for four hundred dollars wow why yeah the floor price dropped like people just abandoned the project wow you understand so so it happens like that. And um, I, I also had to say that so that people understand that. The, there are risk sides involved, with it. Involved. Yes, so when you're getting NFTs, it's not you just come. Because some day, some time ago, some people bought my NFT course, my, my crypto course, and they said that I didn't show them how done just he made his $300,000. <laughs> that since they came into the NFT, they've not made money yeah. in, the, in the... I said, I'm teaching you how to trade. I'm not teaching you how to do flipping, okay? Please, know this. That you are hearing an empty today, uh, but there is work inside you. Of course. You, you, uh, maybe I'll see ask you how your day-to-day -day activity looks like yeah. when you're doing NFT because business of just to me now for the past one month plus, he has not been trading. He's been busy with NFT. It's a full-time work. Full-time work. I, uh, I I sleep on Discord. I sleep on Twitter. Just imagine. I sleep on Discord and Twitter. Um, you can stay to Discord up to like 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And then you have to sleep and then wake up by seven or six. And then when you wake up, you have to go through all the Discord notifications. So, yeah, there's work in it, but um, it's, I mean, rewarding. It's, it's rewarding. It's rewarding. It's rewarding. Okay. Okay. So, um, so floor, continue. You were talking about the floor price yeah. earlier on. And yeah. So, so, let's say after it mints for 0 0.05 and then the floor price is 0 0.1, mm. that means it has gone up 100% from mm. where you minted it from. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, you can decide to flip. Immediately. immediately, so that you can recover the money that you minted with, and then mm -hmm. have another one mm, to start to, another one to again. hold for mm. a, for a, for a long time. Mm. For so yeah, you've already made money already, or money mm. already with it. Mm. And then some collections you might not get opportunity to mint, right? So what you have to do is you wait for it to be done minting. If you believe in the project, right, and then you can just go to the secondary market, market which is the NF marketplace. Open C, yeah, yeah, yeah Open C, and then you buy. It Where do you mint? You mint on the Collections website. Oh, interesting. Every Not on OpenSea. No, no. Every collection has, has their own website. Website for yes. minting. Yes. Good, interesting. So you need to know that one. OpenSea is the marketplace you go and sell. Every collection you want to get into has their own website where they do the minting, where they give birth to the children, the NFT children, yeah. <laughs> the the apes, the body arch apes, the pongs and the monkeys and the tigers. And personally, there's, one, there's, a, there's a kind of love I'm having for kids' NFTs. The yeah. APH Club NFTs for kids. And maybe it's because of what we're launching for Daba Kids uh, NFT Marketplace. But I like seeing those toys. I like seeing those beautiful, innocent creatures. Yeah. And wisdom, let's take a look at this. Why do you think people are criticizing NFTs? And what do you think is the best explanation you could give to them on why NFTs are existing? Uh, I'm going to be sarcastic, right? <laughs> um, I mean, if I see somebody that is flipping my yearly worth in one day, um, I'll be pissed. I'll be pissed off as well. Okay. You understand? If somebody's yearly income is like $20,000, you make that in two days. They will pissed as well. As well. They, they won't understand, like, what's going on? What's going on? You understand? I mean, you're 14 year old, are doing exactly. 1 million USD. Yeah, 14 year old, they're creating art, selling for $2, $2 million, $1 million. So, of course, you, you will be pissed off as well. So, um, the thing is that um, the reason why people are mad at it is because they don't understand it. Mm. You understand? It doesn't make any sense to a layman to buy a picture for a million dollars, for even 100k. So I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy this and I'll be like, wow, 
What if I tell my dad, my mom, that I just bought a picture of of of, of a dog for twenty thousand dollars? Like she like she'll be like, what are you doing? Are you, are you, okay? are you mad? You understand? Where's the real dog? Yeah, exactly. So so no, they don't really understand it, and um, people criticize what they don't understand. Mm. So they don't understand the NFT space. They don't know that there are utilities mm. attached to this thing. Mm. You are not just buying just the pictures. You are buying into the community as well. Mm. You are buying to the utilities. That's why you see the likes of uh, um, Neymar. Justin Bieber that just bought his board. Yeah. They're happy to they're happy to flex this thing. So let's use that. What, why do people buy NFTs? People buy NFTs one of the reasons for the sense of ownership. Mm -hmm. You understand? Just like I said before, Neymar is flexing a board ape reach club. Mm. You know, before people used to flex like cars, mm. Rolex, mm. stuff. Now people want to flex. Yeah, so NFT. it's not just because I want to buy and sell. It's also because I want to belong to a community. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Just Bieber is looking to sell his. He's like he's very soon. You see, start using his music videos as well. He's, he's, he's definitely going to do that. It's a community. It's a community that buys into the community, and then to be, imagine getting into a community that you have to pay three hundred thousand dollars for. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not a joke. Sure. You know. You know that one of the things I share with people is that um, this thing called value is perception. Of course. Uh, last year, was in this studio, I was sharing a teaching. I said, there's a golf club that Richard Branson belongs to and some other millionaires. To join the golf club, registration is $180,000. And so you have access to millionaires. Now, if you understand what access is and value is, you know that somebody who is ready to pay $5,000 to just go and watch a stripper dance, to just go and watch whiskey, those things should start telling you where NFTs derive their value from. In case you're asking this question, in 2022, I'm making a prediction that NFT, a platform will bring out an NFTs that will give you access to watch UEFA Champions League final. Possible. Because you are the owner of that NFT, because you bought those NFT collections, maybe it's only accessible to 50 people. Yeah. And because they bought it for this amount, they will have an exclusive seat at the UEFA Champions League uh, 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 at the stadium. Then they can even have, let's say, access to, let's say, um, the final is between, as I pray, man, you get it. <laughs> the final between Manchester United and Real Madrid, for instance. And they are telling you that this NFT you're getting, you're going to get access to Ronaldo sitting at the end of the final, whether he loses or he wins. Now imagine Ronaldo finally wins and you get an access to take a picture with Ronaldo with... So people are doing NFTs for the love for it. Yes. Like me, I told people, I, there are some, I love... During the course of my wedding, somebody gave me, they gave me two paints, my student. It was, people gave me cash. I mean, good cash gift. Even, even with some selfie money. But I tell you that that painting, when they brought it to the reception ground, it was different from everyone that enabled this brought. Yes. Right. Because it was carrying my cartoon, then a daba, then just like the Mona Lisa paint. I could auction that thing That's tomorrow. Right. And say, okay, yes, Christian is a millionaire and all that, but yeah, I want to auction my, my, my daba right. artwork. And people start bidding. Mm -hmm. $1 million, $5 million. Yeah, right. And next is $10 million. So, Everything you see with the Picasso art, with the Mona Lisa art, that has happened in the physical, is what NFTs are. That's one of the simplest explanations you can get. And the truth is this. Why? How many of you, the last time you got a girlfriend, you got a girlfriend standing on the street to chase? Most of the girlfriends you are getting, is that that Twitter? Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. You're, you're crushing on their pictures, right? Yeah. You're looking at them. And next thing, how are you? Send a DM. Weddings are happening through DMs. Some of you are have, even have friends you've never seen for the past three, four years. This is the first time I've seen with Zomatic. This is the first, this is the first time we're yeah, seeing face to face. Yeah. And we've been friends. And he's yeah, sending, we've not stopped to talk on Twitter. If that's to show you that indirectly we've been living in the virtual world already. We're already in the metaverse. Right? We're already in the metaverse already. The last time you attended a class was on Zoom. The last time you watched Christianity was on YouTube. So there's a metaverse already. And there's this guy that when the metaverse thing was created and all that. One guy decided to have an art collection in the metaverse. That's NFT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is NFT. Art in the virtual world. Oh, Simple. And the guy, Bipu, 
what's what's the guy that bought the sixty nine million dollars? Yeah. Bought it for sixty nine yeah. million dollars. Nas Daily talked about it, yeah. and this guy, boom, blew up the NFT marketplace in two thousand. That was the most expensive artwork yeah. in history, yeah. both physical and digital. Sixty nine million US dollars. Okay, a digital piece of art. And that was when the old NFT market it broke out. Crazy. Funny thing is that NFTs have been in existence since 2017. I was, I was researching OpenSea today, and I saw that OpenSea was a company founded December 2017. Yeah, yeah. Nobody heard about them. 2018. Even punks, punks were free. That's mad. Punks were I free. I had somebody minted a bought ape or so for 0 0.1 last year. It they sold for 100 Ethereum. Bought ape was 0 0.08. Last year? Yes. It's not up to, up to one year yet. It's not up to one year. And it's selling up to 100. 100. It's the cheapest one is 100. The floor price. 115. 115. Please do your calculation there because I like money. 115 <laughs> times. I tell them it's almost $3,000. That's more than $300,000. 300, which don't we need to? Maybe we should. Maybe we should end this show. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Boy! Are you seeing? So this is an offer. They've been there. I mean, yeah. the NFT, just like DeFi. DeFi has been existing in 2017. Yeah, yeah. But it has zero liquidity. And look at how the market has now. So I'm saying this because there are people who still don't believe these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to understand where the world is going to. Metaverse and the whole thing in the virtual world. There, there are platforms where they say you can be watching strippers in New York or so. Mm -hmm. We just see this thing and you'll be yeah. watching them. Yeah. Because you enjoy virtual world you enjoy communication with friends some of you have not gone outside your street for the past one month but facebook twitter instagram have all kept you company children today see them in their estates they are paying how many dollars to buy parts on fortnite yeah, fortnite if you don't know what pokemon is if you don't know what fortnite is you won't understand what nfts are you won't you will be saying why are we doing nfts okay so children are there and they'll be there. A maker will be fighting with Chigoze. Yeah. On the, they are in the same estate. Yeah. They may not come out and see themselves for and one week. Are, but they'll be fighting. And they'll be chatting while they're fighting. And they'll be chatting while they're fighting. So are you now seeing how... I, I'm hoping that this show will be able to give you the reason. There are other reasons people also buy NFT. Mm -hmm. They could buy NFT. There's one that just did to support a charity yeah, so, course. Yeah, yeah, can so you can say, okay, I'm launching Wisdom Charity yeah. uh, Collections. Mm -hmm. And this charity collection, 50% of what we raise from yeah. these NFTs. So you can buy it for 0 0.11 Ethereum. So I will have only um, 1,000 of these. So if you buy for 0 .1, 000, 0 0.1 Ethereum times the floor price, 0 0.1, and maybe you have, and finally we raise maybe $20,000 from this NFT collection. 50% is going to charity. People do buy NFTs to support other artists as well. Interesting. You can do, some can buy for charity, some can buy, okay. This artist is doing well. I like it. Let me just support his work. Let me go to his profile. They tell me the link to your art, to your collection. Mm. Send the link. I have mm. friends as well that always send to Gary V and mm. stuff. So once if they like, they go there. They will be like, let me just let me buy one. Mm. They will buy one to support you, and then my, that might be the boost that you need. That might be just the boost that you need. I'm telling you. Let's go on this short break, and we'll be right back. The world.
Welcome back to Internet Business Show. Today we're talking about NFTs, cryptos, and I'm sure you're getting something. We've just we're sharing what, why do people buy NFTs. We shared about charity. We talked about supporting an artist, the cause, uh, fundraising, belonging to an exclusive community. I want to belong to some rich people's community. Like I'm telling you, if I have a hundred thousand dollars today, I'll look for that NFT. That will buy and join that club for eight thousand because I know that in that community I'm going to get something from there. And even Crypto Life Capital, we're launching a crypto and an NFT collection index fund. And please stay on the watch out. Visit CryptoLifeCapital.com so you can watch and learn more. Big um, wisdom. One of the things I discovered is that NFT is one of the easiest way we can onboard people into the crypto industry. Of course, because at the end of the day. If you don't want to learn crypto and you say you want to start with NFTs, but then you start learning the interesting part of NFTs, you start going back to crypto. wallets. Exactly. You start going back to because aside from NFT collections, we also have NFT coins. Yeah. Okay, like AXS, Axie Infinity. Yeah. I bought one. Uh, I'll call it an NFT on its own. It's a pet. Yeah, of course, it's okay. Uh, it's a non-fungible token. I bought it. I bought it well, last year when Ethereum was one thousand six. And for two two months after, I saw the price. I mean, the co-founder of AXS. We had a meeting on Zoom. And it was showing me, we we're going to the, the, the Axie marketplace. And it was showing me different collections. I said, no, no, don't buy this one, this one, buy this one, buy this one, buy this one. And two months after, I came to check the pet I bought. It was already 100% yeah. the value yeah. I bought. I said, no, I'm going to keep this pet. Because I have a dog I bought since 2016 and 17. I, I knew if I was going to sell that dog. <laughs> and the dog means a lot to me now. Yeah, I like yeah. the dog. The dog sees me. You know, there's this... People can buy art and NFTs for love, okay? They also buy it to flee for profit. Yeah. Like you shared with me yeah. the other day, yesterday, how you bought one. Yeah, I, I bought, I, I minted one for three, for 0 0.9. Each was going for 0 0.03. Okay. Sorry, I mean, so the total is 0 0.09. So Plus gas fee. Uh, yeah, gas fee. Less than 24 hours. I sold it off for 2.5. 2.5 Ethereum? Yes. 2.5 Ethereum is, one Ethereum is 2.6. So let's use even that two five. This was last week. Two five, two five. That's five thousand dollars. Was another one thousand two fifty. So that's about seven thousand dollars on three NFTs that I got for zero point one. And that zero point one is actually two something. So that's about thirty x. Yes. That's how people make money on NF from NFTs. There's a lot we're going to share because um, in NFTs we're going to show you uh, how to detect scams. Uh, how not to, then there's this one we're sharing with you, white list, waiting list uh, to join on. There's one that I saw Traveler doing. I've been a member of Traveler Club since 2018 and I'm hoping they'll pick me among the 500 people for these, their NFTs uh, they are releasing for the Tiger NFT collections. And it's been an interesting discussion. Uh, I don't think this is a full NFT masterclass, so we'll give you more updates on other things we're bringing on board for this NFT stuff, but just stay tuned. Uh, what do you think crypto enthusiasts can do to sustain this NFT market? I'm seeing it as number one on Google chat, even flipping um, people searching about crypto, people are searching about NFTs, NFTs. What do you think? How big is this market? And what can uh, enthusiasts like you and I do to sustain the cryptocurrency, the, the NFT market? Um, the NFT market, obviously, is, like, is, is, is huge. And then it's going to keep on growing because um, people want to be among this. Mm. Some people, once they don't understand it, they don't want to play. Mm. But once they like, they get a little bit uh, of um, knowledge. Mm. They they want to go all in. All in. So, for enthusiasts, what enthusiasts have to do themselves is to make sure they are well positioned mm. when they come into space, so that the people that are coming up later on will kick them out of out from the. Oh, from, from the, I like this word. Yeah, Stay when, positioned so that people who are coming in will not kick you. Yeah, you know, it's going to be like the story we were saying. You saw Bitcoin twenty sixteen. Yeah, I saw Bitcoin twenty sixteen and I bought. Now, I was just imagining what would have happened if I did not buy Bitcoin 2016. Exactly. I'm sure by now, I'm not sure this whole thing will be exactly. live today, exactly. building exactly. a studio. I'll still be like, because see, let's tell ourselves the truth. The person who bought Bitcoin at, at $600 and the person who's buying at $30,000, dollars $40,000. Yeah, okay. even though you may have more money, you yeah. that, but there's a different feeling. Yeah, of course. You're already positioned in the market, okay? And just like you buying BNB, imagine if you had something that made you out of the country out of the wallet for one year and the next year you're coming back and you're seeing your BNB. 
Mm-hmm. Even at this price, right. 10x up, man, it's 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 something exciting. Okay. Imagine somebody putting in 10 million in, in BNB last year and coming back to do 10x. I'm not sure there's any hedge fund in your country so far that will give you that kind of money or any bank. I'm sure you put that money in the bank. The bank manager used to buy BNB <laughs> and give you, <laughs> he will give you 9 million, 9 million, 9, 9, 9, 9 million back, okay? Do you consider yourself that you're early in this industry? Yeah. I, I'll say I'm early, yes. Yes, Inter- I am. I Inter- am. Interesting. And before we start rounding the show, what advice would you have for young entrepreneurs looking to leverage the internet and, and crypto? And, and so, I don't just want you to advise young entrepreneurs, newbies. Uh, you're going to talk to people who are in business, how they should leverage crypto. Mm. You're going to also advise people who are coming to the crypto industry. I say newbies. We've seen a lot of pumps in 2021, we've seen a lot of dumps and we've seen a lot of shits going on in the market and we've seen people talking on Twitter or Facebook and all that. What would you advise newbies? What would you advise young entrepreneurs? My advice is if you don't want to lose money, don't come to crypto. <laughs> don't do crypto at all if you don't want to lose money. Interesting. You get so... Um, and then one problem is that people want to make money fast. They mm-hmm. want to get rich fast. I've been in crypto since 2017. And your turning point is in 2020. And then obviously, it's going to be up from here. You understand? Some people, their breakthrough, some people made money in 2017 bull market. Some made in 2021. Some people are going to make it next bull market. So just. Some people made in beer. Yeah, exactly. So just wait for your own turn. Take it slowly. You understand? And then um, you need to learn about compound interest. Mm. Because if you want to, your portfolio to feed you, you have to feed your portfolio first. Mm-hmm. So. They can't be hoping to if talk. If you want your portfolio to write that thing down, if you want your portfolio to feed you, you have to feed your portfolio first. For more, this one this is the realm of the pastor wisdom as it is. Let's go. Yeah, because you can't be hoping on turning hundred hundred dollars to to one million dollars. Mm. So obviously, from time to time, you should keep on building that portfolio. Obviously, you're going for the long term, right? Mm-hmm. So keep on building that portfolio, and then also. You need patience in this game. Mm. You understand? You need a whole lot of patience. You need to to know that this market takes time. Mm. It takes time. BCC was um, eight hundred dollars in twenty seventeen. Mm. Today is almost forty so, yeah. almost forty thousand yes. dollars. Yeah. So you see the duration. So everything takes time. Even what we do in life yes. is advisable to exercise patience because if you are in a hurry, you are likely going to miss out on some huge massive gains that you are going to end up. Um, regretting mm. and then also you need education mm. you know some of you think that nf the crypto space is where you when i was in school i don't i, I don't really read i started reading properly when i entered the crypto space oh when i was in school i i i didn't enjoy reading mm. but now you, you have to it, this i i'm going to emphasize on this point i am going to emphasize on this point some last year or last year Someone came up with a thesis about the importance of crypto. See, forget the money. One of the things crypto has done for us, even me as a person, is increase my IQ. Of course. Crypto will make you go. We re- you know, people underrate crypto traders and their sense. Mm-hmm. But one of the best minds, the brightest minds I have seen in the world today, scientists, engineers, top leaders are in crypto. Of course. Look at Naval. Look at Andreas Antonopoulos. Look at Spencer Moon. Look at people. Look at when crypto guys write trades. A crypto guy can sit down like this. The way we do research. Isn't that they say, go and do your own research? What they are telling you is, go and have sense. <laughs> go and read on your own. Yeah. Because one of the things reading does, and I'm going to, because I'm passionate about education and knowledge economy. One of the things I've seen, if you're lazy, if you're mentally lazy, you can't succeed in crypto. Take this word from me. Never. If you are mentally lazy, you cannot succeed in crypto. Crypto will turn you to a reader. You'll be on Twitter, you'll be looking for research. In my course on Trade and Make Money, I, was, I teach fundamental analysis. And in one of the things I was sharing about 12 tools you can use to do fundamental analysis. Tell me. So people will say, crypto is not a business. It's not, it's not, it's just on. I laugh. Can you see, the same way you sit down to bring your calculator, calculate your tax. Calculate your potential profit. Yeah, Run yeah, Facebook yeah. ads. It's the same way you people that are sitting down. You go on Glassnode, Livecoin. You will go on Coin Market Cap. Go on Coin Gecko. Compare this coin. Look at this coin. Today he showed me. He said, Chris, go, don't waste your loop. Stake it. 
Okay, go and stake the look. Okay, so I'm doing a video for my for my group again. Tell them, okay, go and stake, go and stake you to a lot of go and stake and um, um, look and Ethereum and look on it again. The person with and again, it's on the internet. The more you keep researching, so you know, it was crypto that made me force me to go and learn economics. Crypto forced me. All these things are talking about Fed, tampering rates. Mm -hmm. I started learning about it 2017. Crypto forced me to go and learn about the dot, dot com bubble. Crypto forced me to go and learn the history of money. Because you cannot, in my book, Crypto 101, you cannot learn, you cannot see me talk about crypto and you can't talk about the history of money. Mm -hmm. okay. So, a whole thing, you think it is Bitcoin you're coming to make. So, that man now wrote that article on Bitcoin.com. He said, let's look at the upper side of it. It is trying to, you come, you, you, you are going for the money, but you now come for the knowledge. knowledge. Because sometimes even when your coin is dipping, mm. what's making you hold BNB? You sat down, right. you looked at it, ah, Omo, you compare this. And when you check crypto guys, just like somebody who started learning computer at an early age, the same way people tell you go and learn coding to have brain, if you want to learn about money and the concept of economics and finance and abundance, learn crypto. It's not the advice I'll give you. You want to know, crypto showed me how about crypto guys will be spending 0.1 Ethereum and they'll be and you can even rock pool and they'll move on with their life. Wait, 0.1 is even, is even small, that's, that's like gas fee. Jesus, Let, let's not start this talk. <laughs> let's not start this talk because last the no gas fee I paid last year in December. <laughs> I finished buying the Uniswap, yeah. buying the Uniswap, I spent a thousand dollars. I looked at it and said, this I just spent is 550,000 Naira. <laughs> there is one, the, the one NFT main that is coming up. I'm, I'm willing, that if I even get the chance, uh, I'm willing to pay $30,000 gas to, me, to get it. And so, this whole concept, 2017, I watched the video about, in 2016, I watched, I watched the video about how abundant the world is. I was pushing crypto. They now should not abandon the world is how the Fed prints money, how people should not even be in poverty. And these things made me know, in short, crypto made me know that the world is full of abundance. Of course, if you're watching this video, take this very, very important. You would think you're coming to come and make money in Bitcoin. The upside of it is it increases your IQ. It makes you a voracious reader. It makes you a researcher. Crypto traders don't even sleep at night. It's, me, I've, me, I've changed, though. I sleep at night now. Though. No, me, I sleep at night now. It's, it's uh, wisdom that we doing that one. Victor, wisdom will be on Discord 3 a.m. It will be on Instagram and Twitter sharing alphas. You have, you have made it already now. I'm trying to make it. No, no, no. It's not about made it. I used to sleep. I don't used to sleep every time. I, see, 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 see. This thing, eh? We have to start wanting crypto. No, 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 no. I said one time, I said, you will research. What, it's, not, it's, not even, it's not even now. Some of the newbies we have today are not passionate about reading. The, the, only, the only thing they want to do is buy, buy a coin and wake up tomorrow and that's pump. I don't understand. That's, that's the only thing. Every time you talk about crypto on Twitter or Facebook, the next question is, which coin should I buy? Exactly. Exactly. And then if you talk about, like, let's say, for example, you talk, you're talking about a particular chain. Let's say you're talking about Solana or Ethereum, and then people are linking into the price. Yeah. And then everything is not always about price. It's not about price. It's not about price. If you focus on price, then you're going to miss on, miss out on a lot on exactly. that particular coin. Everything about price. There's some coins that have good utility, crazy utility that still not eyes have not seen it. Yes. Yes, you understand. Yes. So and sometimes why I tell people sometimes when you see people talking about a coin, you're probably lit. All right. When people start talking about this particular coin every time, mm. Avax, people were sleeping on Avax for so long. Yes. And then last year, everybody was like, Avax, Avax. But yeah, it's been there since. Yes, since. So People just don't want, they just want to find the coin that will make the money. That Every way. coin you see me talk about that I invest in long term. That I say, now this is a secret I'm revealing to people now. If you see me talk about a coin and say long term, it is because I've read. Of course. And one of the things reading does is that it gives you conviction. When you are convinced about a project, there are, you see the way I was in my office upstairs, right? And the next thing I said, this coin is pumping. You know why I was happy? It's on my long term coin. Yes. And the coin has gone down 30% down. But why did I not sell? You open because, see, in crypto, <laughs> selling is easy. Buying back in the deep is the hardest. Yeah. So watch everybody else saying, everybody, people are interested in Bitcoin at 60,000, 50,000. We got to 35,000, they're saying they're, they're not going 19,000. Yeah, well, uh, 20,000. Some people said 12,000. I said, okay, fine. The same 30,000 you're looking for, Bitcoin did not go back to it. 
Even if it's to go back, we're currently at almost 39k already. And there's possibility to flip 40, 41 and still do, a, do an upside. Okay? Reading gives you conviction. I started in the crypto market. If you're going to do anything in this crypto market, please pay attention to knowledge. Pay attention to studies. It will not just make you know the coin to buy. It will make you a fast thinker. Watch everyone doing well in the cryptocurrency industry. You want to build a product. You want to launch something. You want to, you want to have a community. You, you are bold enough. Look at you. When you're in school, you're thinking of having a community. So you have 14,000 people are listening to you on Telegram. He has thousands of followers. I guess you have about 10,000 followers on, 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 on Twitter. 50,000 50, followers on Twitter. And people are watching and listening. And this is the new economy. Tomorrow now, you see Wisdom say, I'm launching Wisdom and Friends Collection. And we say, ah, uh, come on, teach me how to sell it. Stay in the game. Study. Don't be looking for coin to buy or coin to sell alone. Don't be angry every time a coin dips and you're saying, this influencer called it, this influencer did not call it. Take responsibility. Crypto will teach you to take responsibility of yourself. Sometimes I have some losses I'll put on my own. Just like Binance did something last year. I, I, I say, it's my own loss. Because if I didn't take my money and put in that thing, I'll lose. But if the moment I press a buy and the moment I press a sell, the responsibility is on me. It's not on Caesar. It's not on the Fed. It's not on Satoshi. It's not on Vitaly Butel. It's not on the NFT market. It is me. And these are some of the upsides that crypto gives to you. You know how to start comparing, okay, when you, so when your friends are talking about Luna, you don't say, is it the moon? Luna yeah, moon. Or is it? When they're talking about uh, Ada, you don't say, is it your girlfriend? <laughs> and my friend yesterday went to the WhatsApp group and said, uh, your wife must know about crypto. It's not what you say, Ada dumped on me. You know? yeah. ah, so you have a girlfriend called Ada. Ada dumped on you. So, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, and these are the interesting things with, with crypto. Any other more advice you want to share? People need to keep an open mind. Be hmm. open-minded when you come to the crypto space. Because crypto, we have uh, Metaverse, we have DeFi, we have NFTs. Just because you don't understand NFTs doesn't mean you have to criticize them. Just take your time to like understand. If you don't understand DeFi, if it doesn't make any sense to you, just study about it and then hmm. understand it. Hmm. Because once you understand this thing, there's a whole lot of money to be made. Hmm. A whole lot of money to be made. I know True. people say they are here for the tech and stuff, but I, I, most of our end game here is for the financial money. freedom is well. Exactly. It's the tech that brings the money. So even when, whether we are tech for, for tech and for money or whatever, at the end of the day, it's still that tech that we use. Exactly. Because OpenSea is a technology. Oh, is. Look at the money OpenSea has brought to the market. Look at the money um, Lux has brought to the market. Imagine when I start launching things like uh, Daba NFT Marketplace, Daba Keys NFT Marketplace, Daba NFT Marketplace. It brings more money. It is technology that attracts the money. So even if we are here for the tech, indirectly we are saying we are here for the tech that will bring the money. Because if the tech will not bring the money, you'll be here. Sure. OpenSea, if they are told OpenSea in 2017 that they'll be raising the kind of money today, I'm not sure they'll believe it. No? Okay. Billions. There's, there's money entering the volume of OpenSea. And it's, it's big. I did not understand NFT so well, but I was buying NFT coins. Coins related to NFTs and gaming because I saw the trend. So even if you don't understand it fully, or you don't have this fast brain to assimilate, what you should do is keep quiet and be watching. Watch, observe. The problem I've had in this part of the world is that once people don't understand something, they are fast to criticize okay. something. Watch, observe. Whether the price is going up or down, be observant. Then give it time also to test that this is what's going on and you will succeed in the industry. Any other more parting words, Victor? Um, wisdom. I keep calling you Victor. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom. Okay. Um, any other one? No, we are from All right. So we have bonus questions for you. All right, sure. And um, um, if you want to change the... So this is a game. Mm -hmm. And you are not going to think twice. You just answer it straight. And if you decide to think more than one minute, <laughs> you will give us three of those. You them to collection. I'm coming on OpenSea to collect it. So you just transfer it to me. Yeah. Okay? And I want to ask something, okay, before we go. Mm -hmm. It's possible that if you have an NFT collection mm -hmm. and you want to, let's say, give it to me as a birthday gift, you mm -hmm. can transfer it straight yeah. to my platform. Yeah, I just ask for your address or your ENS domain. I'll send it to you. See how simple it is. Transfer. So, in case Gary V likes you, and Gary V wants to give you his NFT. He does that every time. Sometimes some people tell him, Gary, today's my birthday. He say, oh, good. Send me your address. He'll send you one difference. That's like almost $30,000. 
He does that. Gary V, pick my call. <laughs> Gary V, pick my call. Mm -hmm. Gary V, okay. And then, um, my, my wife's birthday is already, so, um, I, on behalf of my wife, these are best months, so we are collecting it on behalf of her. <laughs> okay, so, if you're going to change the world with a new technology, what will it be? New technology. I've talked about that before. <laughs> 0 0.1 Ethereum, <laughs> boy. I've not talked about that before. Um, new technology. Hmm. No idea, really. <laughs> so it's going to, please, it's going to give us 0 0.1 Ethereum. The best cryptocurrency you ever own. BNB. Interesting. Uh, one music that best describes you. 50 Cent. Many men. Oh, okay. <laughs> Many. Why? Wow, interesting. Who is your favorite NFT influencer and why? Um, Farouk. He's on Twitter. Um, he has a very good track record. And he's an, is he in Nigeria? No. Okay. He's, he stays in the US. Okay. He's a, he's a very upstanding guy. Okay. And he's, he's made me good money. Just by following his tweets and then doing my own research. He has made me good money. I can't just mention, but he made me good money. If you are listening to this, Twitter is a place crypto traders stay. That's where you sleep. That's where you sleep. Where we sleep. Yeah, leave Instagram. If you don't have anything. Instagram is for pictures. You are doing... Instagram is for skit makers. Picture, video. Twitter is where it is happening. Nas Daily posted his first crypto, crypto video on Twitter. With Sam. About Sam. With Sam, yes. He had over 1.2 million views. In less than three days. Because it's crypto. Because it's crypto. Don't joke with this community. We are rugged. Mm, strong. This is the community where we are losing money. We are laughing. Mm -hmm. We can even be hosting parties where we are losing money. And we, are, we, are, we, are, we moved on. Let's go. Number The next one. $50 million to start a new life or access to the internet and a $100 million community to build from the start. $50 million to start a new life or we give you internet and $100 million people in your community to build from the start. I'll take internet and $100 million people. Interesting. Interesting. Why? Uh, so many things I can do with that. Oh. So many, so many things that you can do with that. All you need to do is just um, make sure there's a good, um, there's a good utility to anything you are building. All you need to do is just find out what they want, mm. and you're making money with it already. And solve it. Interesting. So why is wisdom matic on your name? Tell us. Why is <laughs> matic on your name? Matic is a coin. So why is Matic on your name? Um, Matic was like one of the coins that gave me like good money that I was like, oh, this is good money. So um, then, then they, were, they weren't called Polygon then. So just like mm. Matic Network. Mm. So it was Matic. So I traded, anytime I trade that coin, just like anytime I trade that coin, my air trade is always uh, top notch. And then it made me good money. Okay. But then uh, BMB came along and then... Uh, BMB <laughs> took over the love. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that it's is. been an interesting show today. Internet business, I'm sure you've loved it. And while you are watching, I even forgot to say this. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. I, I, sure, I was so much kind away with the discussion. Um, this dumb, I enjoyed this session. Thank you. I enjoyed it. it was, Thank I think you. We should look, I'm sure this has gone so long and long, but don't <laughs> worry. I'm sure you enjoyed it. You learned something. Leave a comment below on Internet Business Show. Share with me four things you have learned today. Share with me four things you've learned today. And another thing, when you watch this video, go on Twitter. Share with me three, four, five things you've learned. Uh, one of the things that Pastor Wisdom gave me was, if you don't feed your portfolio, your portfolio will not feed you. <laughs> that one entered my Even though I used to do compound interest, I do it too, but I'm going to start using that word again, okay? So when you hear me start saying, you just remember that, uh, Victor, um, Wisdom was one of the person who shared that with me. Share with us on Twitter. Tag me. Tag Wisdom. Wisdom, what's your handle on Twitter? Um, Wisdomatic. Okay. Wisdomatic, you can see it there on the screen. You can see it on the screen. And you can also follow me on Twitter. I am Chris Annie. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to all we're doing. Watch Daba TV. This Sunday, you will see me on World Creation Series. And I'll be teaching something that will blow your mind subscribe and again please share with your friends take clips of these videos okay one one minute 30 seconds put it on facebook put it on twitter put it on instagram even on linkedin share tag us okay uh let people know what we are doing and god 
will bless you more and more. And, 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 and tell somebody about this program. Tell somebody about the crypto industry. There's a lot we can make together. There's a lot of, I like what Nas said in his video. Um, join us. There's got to be more of us, okay? Join us. Let's, let's, let's have all we're getting rich through crypto. And stay patient. We all going to make it. Till I come your way next time. Chris Annie right here. Your host for business, uh, Internet Business Show live on Daba TV. I'll see you guys. Enjoy the poem. Uh -huh.